So when it comes to creating videos and getting them created by someone else because you might be too busy, this is how I do it. Number one, I normally figure out, okay, what is the video going to be about? Number two, obviously, who am I talking to so that I understand how I need to teach it? And number three, that's when we begin to mix entertaining slash educational videos together. Now, you've probably seen whiteboard videos, especially whiteboard sales promotional videos. And you've also seen the ones that deal with cartoons as well. And that's because they work. Anything related to cartoons or whiteboard videos and mixed in with sales videos actually does well because it's entertainment. In other words, it's edutainment. Now, what I like to do is I like to take a look at different videos in my niche if I'm moving into an area that I'm not as familiar with. But at the same time, if I don't have videos, I want to find videos that I want to kind of emulate. Now, I don't recommend copying or plagiarizing because that's not ethical. But the reason why we want to find videos that relate or are something that we want is because when we hire somebody, we want to show them exactly what, the, what we want. Otherwise, we'll just tell them and they will produce whatever is in their heads, not exactly is in our heads. So that's why we want to find examples by going to YouTube. So whether you want to find you know whiteboard videos or Powtoon type cartoon videos, I recommend go to YouTube and type in something like, we'll just type in WordPress whiteboard videos. And then what I'll do is I'll just look for videos that have whiteboard stuff and I'll look through them and get an idea of what I like. If I can figure out and get an idea of what I like, then I, when I approach the freelancer and the person that will be working for me and producing videos, if I'm not doing it myself, then that will help me communicate exactly what I want. So that's what I normally do, step number one. Step number two, is whether you want to do this yourself or hire somebody, you'll want to go over to sparkle.com. And they have a specific software that you can pay for, a yearly fee, to create animated whiteboard videos. And they're really, really awesome. You can create them for businesses, illustrators, video, pros, educators, and more. But what I normally do and what I've done is I've created accounts at Sparkle and I've created accounts at Powtoon, which is a cartoon based video creation site. So you have whiteboard videos and then you have cartoon based videos where they actually give you templates, they give you animated characters that you can use inside of your Powtoon videos. Now, where do the freelancers come in? The reason why I create an account is because I want people to create videos within my account. So if they were to ever leave, then I would still have access to the videos. If you hire somebody from Fiverr.com, that's fine. Maybe you want to start out that way. But keep in mind that you could be losing the videos if they're using their own account. Now, you could have copies of the end video if you still have access to that. But if you lose it, you can't get it back unless you contact them. So this is just a way of setting yourself up for success so that if they leave, you have access to the videos. Now, I prefer to use Odesk because of that reason. Now, you can use Fiverr, you can use any other site that you want to find freelancers. But if you go to odesk.com and you go to look for somebody who has experience with Powtoon, for example, we'll just type in Powtoon and we can actually see and find people who have experience in Powtoon. Or you can type in Video Scribe and see who has a familiarity with the whiteboard animation tool. So we can see that we have several people here that have experience 
and Sparkle. Now, you can go ahead and create your own videos if you want to, so you have an idea of how it all works, and that would probably be a good idea, but just keep in mind that creating whiteboard videos with Sparkle does take time. It takes a good amount of time. So what that's the reason why I hire and outsource these types of tasks, just because if you can find somebody who does this each and every day all the time, they have a good creative eye to do that, then they're more likely to do a good job. Now, as you take a look at these people, obviously you want to take a look at their portfolio and their feedback and everything like that, just to make sure that they know what they're doing. Now, a lot of times I will look at the feedback really quickly, and just like I talked about earlier in terms of hiring a article writer, I take a look at the test that they take and look at the portfolio, but in order to do that, you have to have an account with ODES and you log in and you'll be able to see their actual work. Normally, if people don't have experience with Sparkle, then I will not give them the job because you want somebody who knows the program, the software, really, really well. But that's how I approach it, and if you want to learn how to use Sparkle, it's really not that hard. It just takes time to do everything, render the files and everything like that. Powtoon does definitely take time. Um, but sign up, create an account so that you can have somebody create videos for you, and all the videos are in your account. But that's the way I do it, and that's probably the easiest way to do it and lower your risk.